Hey there everyone, I'm back for uh, round one. This is Bernie playing Vintage Master Draft with our red-white goblins thing. Um, I would like to play first, because that is definitely a thing we would like to be doing in this deck. And this is a keep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, our hand is odd. We're probably going to die to our own Sulfuric Vortex. Oh, he's mulligan to six. Okay, this is excellent. This is this is precisely the kind of start that we need. Um, I'm going to F6 through this turn. Uh, <laughs> so I think we win by our opponent mulliganing. <laughs> I don't I don't think our deck is particularly good. I love Goblin Trenches though. We've got a sweet foil one as well, which is nice. Okay, green is not particularly good for us. Uh, let's see. Let's through this turn. Okay. That is a better card than Trapper here, I think. We just want to get our aggression on. Hopefully we draw another mountain for the Vortex sometime soon. Okay, we have a Thicket. I'm guessing he has quite a land-heavy hand if he's cycling Thicket now. If he's gone to 6 and he's cycling a Thicket, then that suggests to me that his hand is quite land-heavy. Sure, okay, Mongrel is good. So I think we're playing against Madness, which is an excellent deck. Um, so we can play the Trenches. I think we just want to play the Trapper here. Um, we just need to get his his Mongrel. We need to just start tapping down his Mongrel. Maybe playing Trapper first was better because then we could have played Sergeant and tapped down his Mongrel in his end step. Yep, Root Waller is good. All of the potential 3 3s are very, very good against us. Sure, Finn Hunnels. Okay. Oh, we just clicked through our turn. That was odd. Okay. Well, that was exceptionally bad. Um, but never mind. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Masticore. Yeah, that's that is really good. Okay. Tap this down. Just to confuse him, do that in his uh, attack step. Okay, there's our mountain, which is good. Um, we don't really want to play playing Vortex yet. Um, so our options are, I think, Hulking Goblin and Trapper. We just want to get some power down. We could tap down the Mongrel here and get in for two with the Prospector, considering this is not... this is going to be hosing down our team. I mean, he could just kill a Trapper here. Um, I think I like just playing Trapper and also Goblin here. Um, yeah, we're going to lose fairly handily, I think, to this Master Cool. So in an ideal world, what happens is um, he has to keep discarding to his Master Core every turn, and he doesn't have any card draw. He can't get his lands up to 6, so he won't be able to kill our Radiant Archangel. This is really, um, really ambitious, though. Oh, he's got Fintorn Elves. Yeah, okay, that's that doesn't work. Um, yeah, we are just in a lot of trouble here. Um, so next turn, ideally, I think we draw a land, and then we can either we can try and tap down two things. Like if he wants to attack here, I'm absolutely fine with that. Okay. So the thing is, if we make him discard here, 
Um, maybe he has a madness card. Yeah, I don't want to block this. So, I'm not going to. If he has a madness card, that's like super bad. Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's a good card. So Goblin Patrol really just does run into things here. Um, it doesn't really help us at all. I think our only chance of winning this game is just vortexing him. Um, and just hoping to draw land and then just... We're going to trap him down. So what we could do here is... I think I don't think we can afford to trap his Master Core, can we? Nope. No, we cannot. Okay. Yeah, that's that's excellent for him. Okay, so the plan here is to trap it down the Master Core. Um, or maybe... Do we just trap it down the Wild Mongrel? No, we trap it down the Master Core. Sure. So, I, I am kind of in favour of just conceding this game. Um, I think we're going to wait and see what we draw for, if because if we draw Radiance Judgment, we actually do have a chance of getting back in it, um, even if that chance is kind of slim. Um, yeah, this is kind of awful though. Okay. Okay, Chain Lightning does not quite do it. Um, hmm. Okay, let us attack with Hulk and Goblin. So he is still low on cards, I and mean, he has to discard to the Master Core every turn. Um, he can just, the problem is you can hose down, you can hose down three things now, but it does stop him pumping the Root Wallers. Like, our out here is still, cancel. We can still play to our outs here. So we could Chain Lightning the, I think we do Chain Lightning the Wild Mongrel here. Um, and we're going to play um, Goblin Trenches. Hang on, do we just die to the Root Wallers if we do this? Three. Not quite. Oh no, we do. Yeah, cancel. Okay. Concede. Yeah, let's just concede. Okay, so we're against the Madness deck, and we really don't have a lot of very good stuff against this. Um, this is my preferred deck, actually, the Madness deck. I think it's very, very good. Brilliant Halo might be pretty good, considering he has um, Master Core. Sort of slows him down a little bit. Um, Exile as well. We're going to want, we just want more ways to deal with his big creatures, and Exile is particularly good in this matchup, I think. Um... What do we not want? Maybe a Skirk Drill Sergeant. Flowstone Hellion's fairly unexciting as well. 
Um, hmm. I think I'm going to cut the flowstone sergeant. I mean the flowstone Helion. I think that's correct. Okay, so I should be back for game two shortly.